acting like you're okay when you're not causes more pain. Okay. We minimize our feelings by saying we're okay when we're not. When we avoid talking about what's bothering or hurting us, we miss the opportunity to express and release our emotions. If a friend asks me, how are you? And I find myself struggling with an issue, I share my feelings. Now the problem no longer lives in my mind. I'm able to hear myself and search for a solution. My close friends offer me the beautiful gift of listening. They're great soundboards that remind me when I'm missing self-compassion. If I say I'm okay when I'm not, the conversation shuts down. We move on to the next topic and avoid the most important one, my well-being. Healing can't happen if I dismiss my feelings and ignore myself. I miss out on the opportunity for a solution, resources, and self-care that a friend can offer. I can't tell you how many serendipitous moments I've had when I was willing to express the hard times I was facing. Friends offered me books, a mentor, or a weekend getaway that opened up doors to healing. Acting like I'm okay when I'm not causes more pain and adds emotional stress to my body. If there's no outlet for my pain, there's no healing. My cup will start to spill over with anger, aggression, anxiety, and health issues. One of my favorite self-care sayings is, the opposite of depression is expression. I'm not suggesting that anyone who asks if you're okay is the right person to listen to your story, but it's important to have a circle of trusted friends with whom you can confide. If your heart is heavy, ask a friend when there is a convenient time to talk, when you can both be present to have a thoughtful conversation. Remember, it's okay to have feelings and it's okay not to be okay. Thank you.